What's up, everyone? I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. This is another episode of our Lessons from Beyond the Grave series where we break down some clips from my stream where we didn't make it out and we talk through what went well, what didn't go well, how that happened, and what we could do better in the future. I'm a huge proponent of breaking down your own gameplay is a great way to get better at the game faster. I made a video about how to do that. If you're unfamiliar how, you can check that out. I also stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by, say, hey, chat it up, ask questions questions, anything like that. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So as always, we'll, we'll kind of watch through the clip in its entirety, um, and then we'll go back and kind of work through what happened, how it happened, and what we could do better. Um, so let's go ahead and roll the clip. Definitely someone inside. Whoa, whoa. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Yeah, that's not good. That was a that was a good play by them, bro. What are they doing? Bro, do they have like freaking T sevens on or something? How do they know? around if they're gonna push let's use that to our advantage my god those guys were so aggressive oh. so another super interesting fight you know i said it at the end there those guys played this incredibly aggressively which i wasn't even necessarily mad at once we kind of calmed down i was like it was a really heart pumping fight but you know obviously right from the very beginning uh we're going dorms it's customs i've been trying to run p90s and i've been trying to get better at dorms fights so I think we're a little bit later in the raid, but I was like, let's go see what we can do. Now we hear, as we're running up the stairs, we hear uh, somebody inside and we're like, okay, this is exactly what we're looking for. But right there, if we play those footsteps back, it definitely, once you play it back, it can, it kind of sounds like outside footsteps, not inside footsteps. So. It's super subtle differences like that. If I had thought, hey, he might be up on the roof there, then you know what I mean? I could have just whipped around and got him on the peak. But I wasn't sure where he was. So I opened the door. I don't want to peek it. Obviously, they know I'm there because those metal stairs make so much noise. And I know they're there. So I opened the door and I don't want to peek too hard because I'm not sure if they're holding the door. Um, and once we kind of figure out what's going on he starts taking shots from up there now that's an amazing play that i've made uh many times myself where once you hear that metal staircase if you're up on third you can wrap around and oftentimes if i had still been on the staircase i would have been dead this would have been game over but it was because i was moving around uh to kind of get a little bit more information that i was able to hide behind the staircase send some shots back and push him i do a little squat there just to see if he's gonna re-peak because if, if he's going to re-peak, I know that my leg is fractured and I'm going to be limping away. If he's going to do a really quick re-peak, I wanted to be able to take him out and stop so that I can get as much recoil as I can because I know a bunch of stuff's blacked out. But he doesn't, so we try and get away. Uh, Papa Stim 
Now, the thought here is that I want to just get away as soon as possible. I'm super hurt. I'm not sure how many there are at this point. So I'm just trying to get away from this fight. Now, I stop in this bush because I don't want to go all the way away. Like I said, I'm I'm more concerned right now with where I'm at is just like getting better at the game. So I was like, hey, let me heal up and see if they're still there. I'm close enough a little bit so I can maybe hear them running down the metal staircase if they're running out. But let me see if I can heal one or two limbs real quick and then get back into the fight and they start tossing nades they start taking shots at me in this bush you know i was a little skeptical at this point maybe they've got a thermal i still don't know uh we know that there was more than one i don't know if they had a thermal or not he kind of they kind of continue to see me through these bushes but either way it turned out to be an amazing fight so i say it here the thought is if they're just continuing to follow and push and push and push uh the the what I would assume that they would think the most likely scenario is, is that I would continue to push up towards the road. So I even say it, let's use that to our advantage there. At this point, I know that they're playing hyper aggressive. So this is, would be what I would say is the best decision I made during this encounter was the fact that um, use the land cover that I have around me let them continue to play they want to play and then flip it so instead of trying to stop them in their tracks instead of trying to turn around and just face them head on and hope that i can win a 1v2 my thought is let's let's let them use the style of play that they're implementing and how can i use that against them so at this point uh i can't run very fast i'm loud well i'm gonna wrap around see if i can get behind them or beside them uh, and it works with this guy so this first guy it looks like they split and they were going to push up kind of wide on me, which was unexpected for me because they had been sticking together. So I kind of see him here and I'm able to completely get the drop on him. Now, here's where some of the bad decisions start. Super interestingly enough, if I kind of go frame by frame here, as I'm pushing around, we spot the guy. I didn't initially, but he is right here. Let me see if I can get a good frame. He's right here. Yeah, we see him running. Now, once again, it's it's hard to see when it's raining, when you've got like blurry vision, when there's a bunch of trees. He's right here. And and my terrible luck is that once I cross this tree, he ends up being by the time I'm looking, right behind. You see now he's got this one lone tree to his advantage and he's leaning around it. I still at this point haven't spotted him and he starts taking shots at me and I'm like, you know, where, where, where? So two things here. One, once we go back, once I kill this guy, if I were, if I was going to continue to use my plan of let's use their gameplay style against them, I would have circled back around right or completely behind the way I'm facing now. If I was thinking quickly enough, I would think they're obviously communicating with each other really well. There's two. When I put the one down, his friend is going to immediately look in that direction. And I could have re-rotated and re-flanked because, because it's exactly what happens. Once I do that, he starts looking. I, I kind of position myself still in line with the dead body like here's the dead body i rotated around it if there's a guy that's further up that hill he's going to be looking this way and i position myself in line with him still we we got super unlucky with the trees and not being able to spot this guy um he could have a thermal i still don't know which is why he continually spots me or he could have just spotted me through the trees because of my bad positioning here now the second thing that i did wrong here was not go prone or try to use the land cover so we'll play this part again i'm not exactly sure where he is but i can tell he's close and i get a little bit of cover so like right here it's super blurry but right here i've got this land cover and i could have at least gone prone to stop the initial spray what was going through my mind is you don't normally hear people mag dump that long especially if they're not connecting all of their shots like if you're like danger close to somebody you'll just like absolutely mag dump on them but from this distance with the, the amount of recoil these guns have i was surprised that he was just basically holding the trigger and he used that to his advantage and was just like holding through those bushes and ended up clipping me 
but I could have used some cover to my advantage here. So we'll watch this little part again. So he, he just continues to hold down the trigger there and just clips me i think in the head with one of those shots through the bushes at that point i don't think i could see him anymore like he's up here and i could have just laid down or fallen back or something like that but it was a great fight uh, i actually loved how different this is because the 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 kind of most common thing the meta thing is to just get into dorms and hold dorms right like my plan was to try and engage in a fight where i healed up and then re pushed on dorms knowing they were there uh pushing dorms as hard breaching into dorms because there's lots of angles people can hold that's the fight i was expecting and i actually kind of loved that these guys gave me a fight that i wasn't expecting they were super aggressive they pushed me i mean we're far away from dorms now still having this fight uh but it was super fun it was cool uh it, it, this this is one of those things where it's like there's always another level to learn so a lot of the decisions that i made here i would not have made those decisions uh you know a year ago or six months ago in my play style initially when they shot me at dorms my my you know call of duty days when it came out and i probably just would have pushed them just hold w to them or try and take in that fight even though i was super weak so i made the decision to back off the initial fight uh the other decision to to use their aggressive to think that high and be like okay well they're pushing i'm going to i'm going to swing around here i was able to clip one but there were still mistakes there's always like another level of of thinking to get and that to me isn't a bad thing that's kind of like why i'm so invested in this game is cuz i'm so excited and eager to like learn the next level of like game sense learn the next level of strategy learn the next level of like how to think super fast pace and continue to evolve and and being able to make quick decisions and like roll back decisions you made and pivot all that kind of stuff is stuff that i'm excited to learn so this is one of those situations where like even though i had i felt like i was making good calls constantly these guys were just really good at the game they were able to outplay me here and i'm still able to learn from it so as always i hope that this inspires you to uh, break down your own gameplay like i said earlier i do have a video where i talk about how you can do that um, uh, and if you are at all able to i highly recommend it because stuff like this is often you know i didn't see that guy when i uh, I initially went down and I was like, where was he? How was he seeing me? X, Y, Z. And then you watch it back and you're like, he was right there. He just spotted me and was tracking me through the bushes. I didn't spot him. So it really helps you kind of enlighten the way that you're thinking. So I hope that this inspired you to do that. And if not, I hope that, that these videos are still helpful of me breaking down my own gameplay and you can continue to break down my gameplay and maybe apply some of these principles to your gameplay as well. Thank you so much as always for taking the time to check out this video. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or if there's any guides you'd like to see me make here in the future. Drop a like if you like the video and think about subscribing for more content like this. I'm always trying to create content that helps shorten the learning curve of Escape from Tarkov and get you in your raids having fun as soon as possible. And be sure to check out the podcast. The link is down below. It's a weekly podcast with me and Veritas, another Escape from Tarkov content creator, where we talk about Tarkov and all sorts of other stuff. But thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see y'all on the next one.